On this second Sunday of Easter, known as Divine Mercy Sunday, the Church recognizes God's gracious mercy towards us in the person of Jesus Christ. In Jesus, Divine Mercy is not a mere concept, but an action of God through His incarnation, suffering, death, and resurrection. In Jesus, we encounter this infinite mercy of God which comes to us even while we were still sinners. In today's Gospel, this Divine Mercy, which has the name Jesus, encounters the disciples in their moment of fear and offers them no condemnation but peace that makes them complete in Himself. And He sends them out to be missionaries and ministers of God's mercy and His forgiveness. In those words of commission, Jesus established for us the sacrament of penance and reconciliation as the sacrament of His divine mercy and His healing in our souls. As a priest, this becomes evident to me at the confessional when the penitent comes in, broken and desiring nothing else but God's mercy, and then lives with a sense of peace and the assurance of God's mercy through the words of absolution. This too has been my own experience as a penitent after confessing my sins to a priest. Such experience can only be a gracious gift from Jesus Christ, who alone can grant such peace to our souls. So I invite you to make an effort to go to confession and to pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet before the Blessed Sacrament for the conversion and salvation of souls. May the peace of Christ be with us all as we go forth to be missionary disciples of His Divine Mercy. Amen.